Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office teardown lab. I've made a thing and I do apologize for those of you who like to see me making things, but this build was a little bit more complicated than the usual builds. And uh, I thought, frankly, I better make it first to make sure it all work. And it did work. It's very easy to make work. So I thought I'd go through it. Ooh, look, here. <laughs> And uh, just to sort of show you what this is, it's kind of a crazy thing. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just plug it in. It's a mains powered thing, so a bit dangerous. And there's uh, obviously mains wires coming into an uncovered power supply. So I don't want to put my fingers anywhere there inadvertently right now, but I'm going to plug it in. You can see the LED of Doom is on, which means it's providing power now to my booby board. And of course, my booby board's my own programmable uh, logic board, which uh, I designed some years ago. And we're not going to be using the USB function of it. We're just going to be using it as a, an I.O. So I've removed the firmware and programmed it up with a, another firmware. Um, which I'm going to post online so you'll be able to download that firmware yourself. And then what I've done is I've connected the buoy board to this 8 port opto isolated relay unit which I've uh, done a previous video on so there might you should see the video in the link for this one in the teardown lab. And what I've done I've hooked up a 8 ports of the output uh, 8 output ports from the booby board to this board via this sort of ribbon connector which I've sort of cut up. I've also included here, now again be gingerly, don't want to touch that power supply, uh, you can see hanging off here, this is actually a 6 volt power supply, it's a bit hot really for a 5 volt um, device, so I've driven that through a, re um, a diode so that will drop the voltage down a touch, it's still going to be just over 5 volts but it's fine, this is happy enough now. Um, and then the ground is obviously coming off the booby board so it's all uh, reference to the same uh, electronic ground. Um, you can see I've got a switch here and it's quite a funky momentary sort of security lock type switch and I've wired that in again to pin 1 and pin 1 is looking for a pull to ground to activate this board in the standard firmware. So you can see I've got a resistor here, I think it's about uh, I don't know, 20k, 10k, 2k, something like that. It's just pulling it up to, to 5 volts. So it's just a simple pull up. Um, so when you operate the switch, the booby board will see that switch and then go through its sequence. So this is its sequence. So I switch the switch, toggle, and I can let go, walk away at this point. You'll see the first LEDs come on the first relay, and then now the second. There's quite a delay because these are turning on arcade machine cabinets and they're waiting for most of the degauss cycle to sort of complete. So you can imagine it goes doom, doom. <laughs> See, I preempted that one. So it goes nicely through its cycle. So you can have up to eight arcade machines, eight uh, devices off this. And if I operate the key now while it's in mid cycle, it won't do anything. It's ignoring me. I've set it so it just does not do anything mid cycle. And that's it. Um, and then, of course, you operate the key again and it will go through the off cycle from the same direction, left to right. So you could, if you've got this yourself, you could actually change the firmware to do all sorts of things with this. Now if the key, it's it's actually designed so that even if the key is locked in an on position, yeah, it won't actually go into the off cycle until it's uh, let go. So the it's, it's got a debounce routine on the actual key to make sure there's no bounce, but it's also got a, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like a momentary latch. It's, it's waiting for you to unlatch the key before it can proceed to a D, um, ID. Oh, it, it, it's waiting. For, it's waiting for you to let go of the key before it will go into an, a turning off cycle. But uh, so you'll kind of get what I mean. If, you, if you've got this yourself and you turn turn the delays down, you'll be able to change the speed to see how this goes. So what that does mean, though, if you've got like, um, let's just say you had a big button uh, that you you wanted to put a latching switch for example and you had this on a latching switch for example it would work fine it wouldn't just come on and then start going off again immediately because it saw this the key was latched you'd have to see it go off again um, there's loads of ways and different types of switches you'd want to be able to use so in this current firmware i haven't actually programmed up the usb um, i might get onto that some point because there's so many ways you might want to operate this so you might want to use a latching switch you might want to use a momentary switch um, and define lots of things you might want to be able to um, have an instant off there's all sorts of combinations here so i'll just let you know this the combination here now is as if this was a, a button imagine you just had a button you hit it bang it comes on go through the on sequence and when you're done you hit the button again bang and it will go into the off sequence that's the standard thing so that's what i've got done for now so the next uh, part of this project really 
and I'm gonna t I'm gonna unplug this because I don't want to accidentally um, frazzle myself. Is to get something like this. Now it's kindly given this by um, Mr. Tim uh, at Woodpunk on Twitter, and this is a rack PSU. Uh, splitter box thing so what i'm going to try to do is probably pop these out of here and then mount them this i've got quite a deep box for this project you know i'll be able to mount these in there nicely hopefully if they come out and uh, what i'll have to do then you can see there's one two three four five six you've got plenty here i only need the eight um but they're all going to have to be individually fused of course so the total load on this I don't want to exceed 13 amps, so it'll be protected by a 13 amp fuse plugged into the main. It's in fact one like this. Um, but what I want to make sure is each individual one, say, can only draw 5 amps, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, because uh, a general arcade machine is about 2 amps, 1.5 amps operational, but it could double that when, it's in the, when you turn it on, the inrush current could be sort of, you know, 4 amps. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 34, 16 amps, yeah, maybe pushing it, but I think I think we'll be all right, we'll be all right. Um, and the reason you want the fuse in, of course, because you don't want to blow the tracking out for each individual relay because they're all on a, a sort of PCB. So if you actually, if I daisy chain the mains power between all of them, for example, that's kind of a, a big load. If you have a one of your cabs goes tonto, it's going to blow out the whole um, relay board. We don't want that. So that's it's, that's quite a lot of um, holes to be drilled and things to be sort of fit in here and whatever. But this was the sort of main part, the electronics, and you can see it's really slim. It actually all fits into the lid of the box, so it gives me a heck of a lot of um, scope to play with in the box detail itself. One thing I would quite like to do, and I don't know, maybe I'll 3D print something or maybe try to find something to do this, is just maybe make a little um, cover for this area, you know, find a little box or something that'll just fit over there because just to protect myself really while I'm developing it and playing with it, but you just don't want anything to accidentally sort of short out on here. You can see by the way, I've actually just sort of used glue gun glue or hot snot. Um, do I want to use glue gun glue in a production thing? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it's pretty good. It's just very, um, it's very sticky, and but you don't kind of want this stuff to sort of fall off. So what I might do once it's all working and I'm happy with that, I'll probably just mix up some resin in a, uh, you know, the sort of test tu uh, chest tube, the syringe type resin, and inject it kind of in the same spots just around it so it's just resined on there so it's going to be pretty pretty firm and then of course i'm going to drill a hole in this appropriate place which will probably be here and actually fit this switch so you can access it from the other side of course if you want to you could put a port on here and then just have a quite a long distance switch you know remote it to somewhere else you can have a small box living on the wall that's the actual switch you don't have to have you know if this box is going to be have loads of plugs on it it's going to be on the floor and you don't want to have to bend down to put the key in so what you could do is uh, remote that or what I actually have got I don't have it in, in my hands right now I have a um, remote key fob receiver that could quite easily put there it's got a normally open and normally closed latching output when you push the button so if you set that up for the to do the close you could actually have that here instead and just have this on a key fob and just sort of you know de -de 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 and that, that's going to be quite cute it should be the envy the envy of all your arcade cab owning chums so I hope this has uh, been of some uh, use to you, or find at least a little bit informative. Please comment down below if you're interested in this whole thing, because I'm trying to decide whether I make a kit of it. I can put together a kit of parts, really sell these boards pre-programmed, let you know where to get these, or if if there's enough interest, I can actually manufacture a proper daughter board and build the whole thing. You know, make this an actual solid. Uh, kind of production run device so until unless you comment down below I won't know what your needs are so please let me know if you're interested in uh, you know commercially getting on board with me just ping me down below as well or email me at my email address that you can find in my YouTube about page so please click like and subscribe if you're that way inclined love you to comment come and chat to me on Twitter and as ever thanks for watching